Hello everybody, I'm Thumbplit Zhao Zai. Let's try to enter an item from the Singapore Mathematical Olympiad. If A, B, and C are real numbers such that the absolute value of A minus B equals the absolute value of B minus C equals 1, and the absolute value of C minus A equals 2, and A times B times C equals 60, find the value of the given expression A over BC plus b over c a plus c over a b minus 1 over a minus 1 over b minus 1 over c. Now, as a challenge, try to solve this item without getting the values of a, b, and c. Pause this video if you would like to give this item a try. If you're done, let's dive in with the solution. Now, the reason why I want you guys to solve this item without getting the values of a, b, and c is because some might go, okay, a equals b, b equals 4, and c equals, sorry, a equals 3, b equals 4, and c equals 5 will satisfy the givens. So, you know, absolute value of 3 minus 4 equals the absolute value of 4 minus 5, and that's equal to 1, and absolute value of 3 minus 5, that's equal to 2, and it also satisfies a, b, c equals 60. So if we substitute a equals 3, b equals 4, c equals 5 into the desired expression, well, you will be getting the correct answer of 1 over 20. Now, um, in speed-related terms, that's the fastest way to do it. But suppose you want to prove that the answer is indeed 1 over 20. Then we must have a different approach because substitution or tr just trial and error would not be a valid solution. In fact, we have to use algebraic manipulation. By transforming the givens into the given expression. And then we can substitute the values and then ultimately get our answer. So for the first step of our algebraic manipulation, let, let's, take the, um, let's take all the terms to have a common denominator. Well, the LCM of denominators, we can have ABC. Now we can put everything into one fraction. That's going to become A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus AB minus BC minus CA all over ABC. Now let's call this expression expression star. Now I will be showing you guys a very common um, like an identity that will help you in well future math competitions um, if you're joining um, mathematical Olympiads in your respective country. Now this note the following a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ca is actually just one half of the quantity a minus b squared plus the quantity b minus c squared plus the quantity c minus a squared. Now the proof is just simple. Just expand um, the right side of this identity. We get that one half times a squared minus 2ab plus b squared plus b squared minus 2bc plus c squared plus c squared minus 2ca plus a squared. Collect like terms and then we're going to get that 1 half times 2a squared plus 2b squared plus 2c squared minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ca. Now everything has a everything within the parentheses have a factor of 2. Since there's a 1 half outside, we can cancel those two. So the resulting expression is actually equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus AB minus BC minus CA as shown above. Now we're going to use this into expression star because the numerator is actually exact same. So we can replace the numerator by the expression we got. So let's, re let's replace the numerator with 1 half times the quantity A minus B squared plus B minus C squared plus C minus A squared. Now the, den the, now the denominator remains the same. Now note that a minus b quantity squared is equal to the absolute value of a minus b squared. Same is said for b minus c quantity squared and c minus a quantity squared. And what's nice is that all these three are actually given to um, this item. Look, a minus b equals, sorry, the absolute value of a minus b, the absolute value of b minus c, and the absolute value of c minus a, well, as well as the denominator, a, b, c, they are all given. So once, you, once we reach this point, all we have to do is substitute the values. So we just substitute and we just evaluate. So 1 half of the quantity 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared all over 60. Simplify the numerator, you're going to get 3 
So 3 over 60 and this gives us 1 over 20 in lowest terms. And this will be our final answer.